So you land back and two weeks later I have a baby. You have a baby. Have Your a second baby. born. My second born. Baby girl as well? Baby girl. Oh, okay. And she was easy. She it was an easy Yeah, yeah. But it, plant CS yes, you say. Plant CS yes, again. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. Anyways, so we we acquaint ourselves with each other. Yeah. And in 2017 I start you start the the PhD. The P or oh, the doctorate, yes the now. Doctorate, yes. Um did you need to travel? Uh, once a year. Once a year. So yes, um you, you'd make arrangements. Yeah. Uh, to yeah. family, etc., etc. <laughs> the first time I traveled, yeah. Did we go? With, no, I don't think we went with her to the US. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now mm. this Ghana trip, by the way. Mm. So I, I was to do take two. Mm-hmm. Oh. And when the baby was one month, me mm. and my CS, we had to go. What? And I couldn't leave a one-month-old baby. What? So my they paid for my nanny to to come alongside and so we went me the nanny and two kids so wait the nanny you had just trying to think already had a passport or these are no no now we are making arrangements backwards so now we know Uh that they could pay for the nanny to travel so we apply for a passport for her a passport a visa a visa no, no, Ghana, you don't need a visa. Oh, yeah, Ghana. So, and my visa. kids also. Yeah, they, yeah. So, we apply for passports yeah, for the kids yeah. and for the nanny. Right. And so, we, oh, they goodness. come pretty quickly, actually. Whoa, and, whoa. and, yeah. Wow. And and we travel together. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, your kids are, are already starting <laughs> to experience. Uh, <laughs> well, I think, yeah, they were too young to realize what was of going on. Of course not. But, but, but still, still. Yeah. So, when you tell them these stories, when they hear these mm, kinds of stories, they're like, so, oh, wow. So, yeah. And I think, again, in development, mm. Of course, there's uh, issues about traveling, mm. and there are very many wi- capable women mm. that could do the work. Yeah, it's only that you need to support and facilitate. Right. And I'm right. grateful that, that, that my journey yeah. in the development world, I met people yeah. who are so supportive. Yeah. I'm telling you, even when my kids were small mm-hmm. and people wanted me to facilitate workshops, mm. they would choose Lukenya because it's near my house. Mm-hmm. So that I I am able. You're, you're, the, the, yeah. near you. So everyone would work towards work, work with me. Yeah. To what what would yeah. suit my family yeah. needs. Yeah. Yeah. Um. They would offer yeah. you know uh, to get me family rooms. Yeah. So that I'm able. And yeah. there are many people that yeah. do that. Yeah. But if a lot of us could do mm. that enough, mm. women mm. could continue. Women, young women, don't have to be afraid. Yeah. To be in this mm. space. Mm. Um, and as a, if they can do both, yeah. and they would like to do. Both and have together. you learned with time to? Just make the request known or make I always did. Yeah. I always did because I I, I, I learned earlier on to say mm. if, if there's no provision. You know, so um I I'm, I may not be able to come. Yeah. And graciously they could have taken somebody else, but mm. graciously they accommodated. Mo- yeah, because they know your worth. Mm. So in in entertainment, mm. uh what you're asking, mm. uh they call it asking for my rider. Okay it's a package you know mm. you say i want a room that has uh face towels that maria Kari, for instance <laughs> is famously known to say i want a room that has eight face towels that are all white oh, wow. uh, a room that has uh water that is flowing from uh, in a particular way uh mm. my tv has got to have uh my name written <laughs> on it in every space but you're not obviously asking for that extent no. of, of things i'm just what saying, you're asking for is yeah. just um accommodate my need yeah. as a because i want a, to have as a mother peace of mind exactly because my kids i mean if you have kids two under you. fives yeah they chances need are that a cold will come up anytime in the night exactly. or at temperature yeah so you need to sort of like navigate that and right. for me to be able to deliver yeah, yeah. So, so you you're needed as a mother and at the same time you're needed yeah. as a professional yeah. Yeah. so and both can work yeah. concurrently yeah. so one needs to take care of the other i i should mention though yeah that when i was uh, I'm, I'm one of those women who because of not retaining much mm-hmm. in my first trimester i mm-hmm. look pretty small mm-hmm. and you wouldn't easily tell mm-hmm. that i'm pregnant mm-hmm. um the first maybe six months mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and so i i happened to go for a consultancy somewhere so mm-hmm. i wouldn't mention any mm-hmm. name here mm-hmm. And, and and this person was giving me work and I said, when will the consultancy be finished? Mm. Because I needed to work backwards because mm. I knew when mm. the baby was coming. Mm. And and for some reason, I don't know. I don't know how the conversation went, but it, it, the person got wind. It was a he mm. that I, I needed to be able to have finished by this time so that I can deliver the baby. Mm. And as, that's the end. I As in, we never talked about it 
as soon as yeah we'll talk again that was it he never called me he never said so i did lose at least that's the only opportunity i remember oh wow losing uh, because of saying i was pregnant mm. but i never heed the fact that you know what this has its dynamics mm. so that in case anything happens mm. along the way mm. it mm. isn't a disappointment to the client yeah. yeah and i feel like women need to be supported mm. um to be able to do that mm. if you value what they're bringing on board exactly yeah. exactly and so it shouldn't be made to choose yeah it mm. shouldn't be a choice for a woman and for a family person yeah you yeah know, yeah though. it's for mm. a family person uh, any anyone who says i value being with my family here for mm. this and this reason or mm. other dynamics it goes mm. also for disability it goes as well yeah. for um for um any issue that you feel is an important issue yeah. as a I mean you're not pushing the boundaries but mm. you know the issues that are important to mm. a, a, a professional yeah. in order for them to mm. to be able to express and work at optimal mm. uh, that can be accommodated and I I respect that issues around DEI are accommodating families are accommodating mm. you know as much as possible mm. so um for you then um you 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 you've done now your phd what at this point so i think so i'm starting oh you're starting i'm starting the mm -hmm. good thing about this particular program it was very structured mm -hmm. so it wasn't one of those where you sign up for a thesis and just never get started mm. so because of that every two weeks it was very clear what the milestones were mm -hmm. and and so it was easy mm. to kind of plan alongside mm -hmm. it was still very challenging mm. because um i have a second baby mm -hmm. so at this point i have two under twos mm -hmm. I have a consultancy mm -hmm. the work is not any less mm. and now I am mm. doing a PhD concurrent mm. mm. so that wasn't the easiest of things mm. but you make the sacrifices mm. Mm. and one of the things that really pushed me mm. uh, one of the many things mm. was we did a consultancy presented mm. somewhere mm. and this guy was Dr someone mm -hmm. and got about 50k paid higher than us mm. And I thought, wait a minute. I mean, if 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 you saw her presentations without names, they were pretty a mirror copy of each other. And I said, wow, that should have counted for something. But I was told, yeah, this can't be the same rate as yourself. And and in in the consultancy world, actually, people want to feel like they hired the best expertise to be able to deliver. That's correct. And 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 your your papers. I mean, if if you're given a PhD versus a doctor. Not that PhDs always deliver. What mm. I'm just saying mm. is that um, the communication that hey, I've done this to the best of my ability and mm. to the highest level mm. communicates yeah. some level of understanding of a certain yeah. sense. Yeah. And and because I'd always wanted to do it anyway, mm. being in the consultancy field mm. made it made the urgency mm. even more. Mm. 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 So that that was mm. Uh, mm. interesting. And you are able to complete it. And now even when you're offering, I completed this... it in three years. Three oh, and a half years. Wow, that wasn't easy. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, also, mm. some of the things that I would do mm. would be that, uh, like now, I would be in a meeting like this mm -hmm. the whole day, mm -hmm. and I have an assignment coming up on Saturday, mm -hmm. and I'd have to sacrifice the sleep. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 and, and just really mm. sleep a few hours. Mm -hmm. I had to sacrifice a bit of, you know, friendships mm -hmm. and I mean those social mm -hmm. interactions mm -hmm. because it's high intensity. Mm -hmm. I knew it was for a season mm. and, and so I just you know thought I needed to make it work. Mm. So part of making it work like there are times when I mean kids don't give you notice when they get unwell. Mm. So you're in hospital and doing work there. Mm. I, I I mean I carried my work alongside me everywhere. Mm. Like if I just have five minutes mm. I'm there typing something. Mm. Um there are times I would have to come so if I have early morning meetings mm. because of where I live Mm. I'd have to leave at five, mm. come and take a bit of a nap in the car, mm. and then have my meeting at eight thirty or nine. Wow! So that was my life of four years, wow. and um, and I say this not to say that I'm extraordinary as a woman. Yeah, I, I'm just saying that if you want it, you'll get it. Mm. But there is a cost and a price to pay, mm. and I think it's critical as a woman to decide, mm. or anybody, if mm. you want it. Mm what level of work are you willing to put into mm, it mm. to get it mm. um, but also i think um the thing is this is not extraordinary mm. if you hear women's stories mm. think about a woman in kibira mm. that has to feed eight children mm. 
and she just goes out there to look for work ya mm. kufuangu mm. that woman will i mean like there's a time i i saw a video in church where this woman pretty much assisted herself to give birth mm. stood up from there it was during a post election violence uh, period stood up from there cleaned up handed the baby to the neighbor and proceeded to wash clothes mm. so women sacrifice a lot i mean it's it's like it's saying that because of our you know productive and reproductive work mm. i mean like i can't delegate breastfeeding exactly you see mm. so there is a sense in which there is double duty mm. in a lot of these things mm. and 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 uh, we need to take account mm. and sometimes even uh, allow care work mm. to matter in development mm. and 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 for me i say in fact i normally say <laughs> I joke and say I'll write a book called The Other Woman mm. not to talk about extramarital affair mm. but to talk about the support system I got <laughs> from the nanny from mm. my mother mm. you know mm. just by the fact that that mm. that it would never have been possible to do these things without mm. that support mm. system mm. Mm. yeah that's amazing yeah and so care work is 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 something mm. is, is a fundamental discussion mm. to mm. have mm. in development mm. yeah mm. that's and totally totally amazing and uh, and I don't want I don't want us to lose that because mm-hmm. I'd like to to come back to that as you now also connect the dots with you know family dynamics also mm-hmm. when it comes to you know how development also pans out but mm-hmm. I want to close the loop mm-hmm. on on um the fact that you know this wonderful education you've had you also wanting to pass it down mm-hmm. and and that's where we began this from um you 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 are now very deliberate with your foundation to want to pass it down and mm-hmm. there are these opportunities that are coming there's good testimonies that are coming from people who've gone through this program mm-hmm. and 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 so is that part of the future that you're seeing long view i would want it to be mm-hmm. i would want um, i know funding has become an issue mm-hmm. but part of my communicating um learning organizations mm-hmm. is i have seen how fast you can grow mm. it's like health mm. you don't say i'll eat badly throughout mm. the year and this one week i'll eat healthy mm. it doesn't work that way mm. it has to be an everyday mm. decision mm. so that it culminates into the ultimate results that you want mm. i i think of the same when it comes to organizations that mm. for you to get the optimum um value from mm. your employees but also for from the work that you do mm. and to really even so higher than you, you could mm. in this very tumultuous times mm-hmm. we need to create very agile mm. and very in learning organizations mm-hmm. and that cannot happen when we are always in the grind mm. doing so mm. how do we integrate mm. trainings mm. Of, of different things mm. within organizations mm. so that people are constantly reinventing mm. themselves and i've had arguments and rightfully so mm. where people say i'll invest in an employee mm. and then they leave mm. But you know there's something that is called loyalty. Mm. If I worked in IA for 12 years mm. because of the indebtedness I felt within mm. the organization, mm. the fact that they held my hand and lifted me up to levels I could I never thought I had even the capacity to do, I felt I needed to give back. And even if some people will not stay, the the right breed will stay because you cannot buy loyalty. And 12 years is longer than any yeah. institution maybe other than family yeah that you can never get anywhere yeah, yeah work, and work is the most primary school is longer than high school is longer than and but yeah. you see work if you have a healthy environment yeah. where you 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 allow people to grow and have a freedom even to explore those who value those mm. things you mm. know because you see that someone would say i i, I should have left to pursue mm. a higher paying job mm. Mm. But you see I can go to a higher paying job but I never go I will not get the value of learning right. that then gives me much more even higher pay mm. later mm. okay so it mm. depends on the dynamics mm. and and I normally say you create that environment mm. where you give and, and right now if you look at how organizations are working mm. it is a combination of many things mm. and part of it is good employees mm. who are loyal mm. is a big asset to institutions mm. so if you can get that value by retaining your good employees because they feel that their needs are being met to grow as individuals and their capacity is growing mm. why not mm-hmm. so i'm hoping that is something that uh, again 
uh, people don't like investing in knowledge. Mm. They want to harvest from knowledge, but mm. not invest in it. Mm. So um, I'm hoping that that's a culture that can continue. Mm. And because we are saying some of these things that we are offering are 21st century skills, COVID actually was a blessing in disguise mm. because a lot of people now are demanding mm. rather than you imposing. Mm. Uh, a lot of people are demanding this kind of, mm. of skill set. I've come across at least five organizations, just mm. organizations in the last year mm. that have reoriented their strategy to mm. think futures. Mm. So mm. that's a plus. Mm. And and I think there's something there to be tapped into. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. So uh, I, I think that's if that's the the direction you're going into, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 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 a right it's it is completely capacity building with to people to african young people yeah. uh in that regard is uh is it's a required thing and um may all the relevant support and, <laughs> <laughs> and actually you know um when again when you've worked in this space yeah. there are always better opportunities elsewhere mm, mm. but i think for me mm. I, I every time i think about futures i'm like where on earth has the most complex problems africa mm. Where is the least capacity in this regard, mm, Africa? Mm. So why do I want to go and work mm. somewhere else when you can do this here mm. and even build things that I'll leave you? Right. So for me, it's 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 become much more than a job. Mm. It's also about mm. you know Expression. building mm. um, legacy, building mm. individuals that legacy. can mm. can take on mm. this this mm. forward, mm. as well mm. as produce knowledge. Mm. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Let's um, as you. Sorry, just uh, sure. just a, a, a small contribution there mm -hmm. is is um, you see you've seen the recent debate about all oh, the church is not relevant. Yeah. As a Christian, I must say that one of the passions I have is to then apply this research, policy, futures thinking, and very specifically alongside other things into the religious space mm -hmm. because they need to answer these questions that society is looking for them to answer. Mm -hmm. And part of that inability is because they are judged harshly, but yet the capacity is not there. Mm -hmm. So um, if again, that that's something else mm. I, I, I'm very like specific about mm. in terms of giving. Mm. Mm. But because I, I, I believe these are very interesting um, interface between development, faith, because mm -hmm. faith yeah. gives us values yeah. as Faith, it doesn't matter. I mean, I can speak as a Christian, but mm. anyone who's Muslim, mm. the reason they do things the way they do is because mm. their mm. faith is an integral part. Yeah. Even if you're, an, uh, you know, you do other, whatever you subscribe to, there's a sense in which religion or faith gives you yeah. a compass. Mm. And, and if that compass can be enhanced, yeah. it is speaking into people's values and people's way of doing things. Mm. And it has a much, I, I feel like it, it helps people transform in a different way. Yeah. Yeah. When you're thinking about um, life as it is, mm. uh, its tenets, mm. you will definitely find faith mm. as one of those. So when you're thinking about how development then happens yeah. and the many stratas of development, social, political, mm. it is quite, um, difficult to remove faith from from that yeah. you know uh, uh, faith and belief uh, from that so uh, hearing that you would like to um, explore um, the futures of that and the nexus between faith and development, development yeah. and, and and bring some some insights yeah, into that yeah. would be something um, yeah, pretty, and, pretty, pretty good. And there's a huge gap make, in, in, yeah, in yeah, because I just to go back to the youth work that I did. Mm -hmm. One of the dissemination opportunities I got was to speak to youth pastors. Mm -hmm. And you know, I cannot tell you the sense of urgency this youth pastors got because if you think about churches, the children's ministry and the youth ministry is the least funded. Mm. Yet all of us are saying we want bigger congregations. Yeah. But we just don't make the connection between that your future church is your youth and your children. Mm, mm. And yet that's where you put the least resources. Mm. Do you know, just speaking in, in the youth fact book informed such decisions in some churches. And even mm. one of the universities that picked it was actually a Christian university. Mm. And one of the biggest influence I have is the Regent University. Mm -hmm. um, the motto of the university is uh, Christian leaders for to change the world. Mm. And for me, I got very fascinated by how we would exegete God's word. Like take, like let's say we're yeah. talking about mentorship. Mm -hmm. We would be, part of the assignment would be go and exegete the Bible. Mm -hmm. And then 
let's see how it, it even connects. speaks to and connects mm-hmm. and i found that so powerful mm-hmm. that you would have this very uh, this text that is many people mm-hmm. africans are, mm-hmm. are, are, are subscribed to mm-hmm. but also um and, and, and it, it actually has a lot of answers to mm, some of the mm, questions mm, we ask, but mm. yet very few people do mm, a connection mm, between mm. the two. So I think there's something there mm. to be explored that mm. I think is very mm. unique mm. and a wonderful contribution. Mm. 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 I'm, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm loving it. And so also does um, faith, family, development. You, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy whenever I think about development. I think it, yeah. it is, um, it's, it's very central in a lot of things but it is also the thing that you can't turn away when you're thinking about every other thing yeah yeah so uh, for you how has family connected with uh, how has family marriage connected with everything around yourself yeah. and yeah um and and where you are at right, at now? right now mm. yeah so um